everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to tell you uh, some of some of the questions which were asked in non sde tech exam previously in december so the model questions and you can get an idea of which kind of questions you'll be getting because all of you are confused about the technical part mainly that means the data structures linux uh, and you know pseudo code database queries testing all those questions you are confused about because logical aptitude and verbal all these things you have written coding all these things you have written in many of the placement exams but uh, this section is a bit new for you so i've gathered some of the questions some of the model questions and i mentioned part 1 because i'll be uploading some of the next questions also in the next coming videos uh, so let's get started with the video now yeah first is software testing like the question will be like if a test case review was done in a day for 300 test cases and 10 review comments were found what is the review effectiveness so uh, for this review effectiveness you'll have a formula for in the uh, software metrics you'll have some formula so you have to prepare all those formulas to get the answer for this question and i'm not going to tell the answers for any of the question because i am not an expert right if i make a mistake and you guys will learn the same mistake and if you write in the exam then that will become my mistake so i don't want to do that i'll just give you the questions and the options you try to learn them and if i'm sure about any of the answer then i'll definitely tell you and if i'm guessing like i think this is the answer those kind of things also i'll tell you but i don't have any idea about this but you can learn this if you refer to the matrix software matrix you have to learn and the next question what is the case when there is deviation from expected results so from deviation from expected results it may be a bug i'm not sure about it uh, so i uh, like you just go through the google and get the answer for this if the defect density is 4 and size of the code is 25 what is the number of defects found okay for this question uh, he gave the defect density and he also gave the size of the code and what is the number of defects is asking you so here you have a formula called uh, defect density is equal to defect density is equal to number of defects divided by size of the code here defect density is 4 right and number of defects you have to find out so 4 is equal to number of defects divided by size of code is nothing but 25 so 4 is equal to number of defects divided by 25 so when you multiply 25 and 4 you'll be getting the number of defects which is nothing but 100 okay done so now uh, let's move to the data structures what would be the array immediately after the seventh call to march Uh, when top down merge sort is used for the sorting following array so for this question you have to learn about the concept of merge sort and what what do you mean by top down what do you mean by top um, bottom up and all those things you have to learn so learn about all the sorting techniques mainly in the case of data structures learn about sorting techniques stacks queues and everything see learning data structures will help you a lot in your interview preparation also not only for this tech mahindra exam even though you get Uh, qualified in this exam or not you are interested in this exam or not keeping aside data structures is a very important part in interview point of view also so here is a given list and you are supposed to sort it using the merge sort and for this you have to learn what is merge sort algorithm done and yeah consider a tree of height 8 and you need to delete a node from level 2 the node to be deleted has two children so you are he is giving you a tree and you are supposed to delete a node and that node is having two children then how can you delete the node see for this you have to learn about the concepts of tree uh, if you directly delete the node the children of the node also will be deleted right so first what you have to do you have to allocate the children to some other node so how that process is done all those things you have to learn about the um adding and deleting elements into tree and all those things you have to learn okay the next is database queries okay to ensure that the column value cannot be null there are multiple ways in database he only gave that there are multiple ways to optimize the performance what should be used so among the multiple ways you have which one you have to use for the optimized results right here are the options you have you whether by using a not null constraint or by using check constraint or by using both not null and check or by checking with the where clause so which of these will be an optimized query he is asking you okay so this is about the database queries and yeah see here i have given you a list of some things that you uh, that you need to prepare um in the subject of database you have to first uh, learn simple queries like how you insert delete 
uh, drop, alter, creating a table, all those simple things you have to learn and data types. You have to mainly learn the data types because he may ask you what is the error or why the following query will not execute. Uh, will the following query will store the data successfully so those kind of questions he may ask you so for that you have to be very perfect about the data types which means which kind of data for which kind of data type this particular data type will support which type of data all those things you have to learn okay it's not like our normal programming languages right and for numbers we, for numericals we, here we use in float double and all but in the case of uh, database we have to use number keyword itself so there are some differences between normal programming languages and sql right because sql is not a programming language so learn all the data types perfectly and constraints you have so many constraints like primary key unique um, you have those uh, constraints to so learn about them and selected data selected data in the sense uh, not exactly selected data but i'll give you an example like uh, you have to retrieve the entries which are greater than 500 or you have to retrieve the entries which are equal to 500 so and so salary is equal uh, salary is greater than 5000 those kind of uh, queries uh, those kind of data you have to retrieve for that which query you'll write so all those and what do you mean by the alter command and uh, what is the difference between alter and uh, what is the difference between drop and delete like this you have you'll have some uh, basic uh, not not the differences but we'll be giving you some queries and all i'll try to make a video on the queries as well like example queries um, in the next coming video as i said this is only the part one in the next coming i'll be making so uh, like part two three and so on the linux questions and some more software testing questions pseudo codes algorithms and so many things i'll be making videos for sure so stay tuned to my channel and make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications whenever i post a video and if you think that the video is helpful for you hit the like button and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them as well and that's all for this video if you're still having any queries or doubts let me know in the comment section and i'll also give you my gmail and instagram in the description contact me through them as well and instagram is more suggestible but if you're not having instagram you can uh, text me through gmail as well and uh, that's all for this video thank you for your patience towards the video if you're still having any doubts do not forget to uh, comment them down and let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thank you